Bill. 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 Yep. Yeah. Ready? Is that <laughs> you guys and, are amazing, by the way. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Take, yeah. take one. Slating. Take one. Joe Lewis, Jr. J O E L E W I S. My name is Jeffrey Tresvant. J E F F R E Y. Tresvant. T R E S. As in Sam. B as in Victor. A N T. I forgot to say senior. William Perry, Jr. W I L L I A M P E R R Y. J R. And do you want to, uh, for the film, do you want to go by William or you want to be Bill? Bill. Bill. And Roland Willis, Jr. Uh, R O L A N D. I always say, how do you spell relief? <laughs> and that's Willis, W I L L I S. Our radio station came on at a very short time. So we used to run home as musicians. Being a young drummer, to get that little time of practice in, uh, living in Minnesota, snow, um, practicing for us was uh, something to do. The community, 1960s, early 60s, and it was the riots. I saw Spike, I saw a lot of my other Northside mates uh, actually in the riots when I'm there in Detroit. So when I come home, the city's pretty much burnt down. Out of ashes, they started a community center where stuff had burnt down. Something was coming up. The way community center, you know, was born. And uh, we were all little, but we were able to come up through there during the riot times in the 1960s. Yeah, I had, I had to sneak to come down there, man. My that parents kept me away from that kind of thing, you know? Oh, yeah. Remember? It was sort of taboo to be down there, but it, if you made it down there, there was uh, a lot of educational things going on. Yeah. Eventually, we all made it down there because a yes. music thing was happening for us. Yeah. I mean, we started when we were kids, yeah. you know? And I think during that time, the 60s as well, it, it was a new, new environment for me, you know, because I had just moved in from the southern United States, moved in from the south. Yes, a lot of racial tension going on at that particular time, and uh, the National Guard was occupying the neighborhood. You know, you walk through the neighborhood, and there's, you know, the National Guard on the corners right after the riots, and, and it was a, you know, it was a big culture shock for me to come into that environment at that time. Yeah, My thing was at that time I was so small that I, yeah, I couldn't I couldn't play basketball. I was too small. Like, football <laughs> equipment was swallowing me. <laughs> so, so I you know tried to figure out what can I do to, to make a mark, and, and the music became the thing. You know, I got the saxophone, yeah. and that was it. <laughs> you know, that was good. it. And from that particular point, that that kept us out of a lot of um, a lot of things, a lot of things that were happening that right. could have destroyed us. That jailed us as a family. Right. I actually was playing with a little band that we started right around the corner from my house. And so I was going to go to band practice one day, come out of the house, mm -hmm. had my tr horn in my hand and all that, and um, dude jumped from behind the tree, scared the holy heck out of me. <laughs> it was Sonny Thompson, <laughs> of all people. Right then and there, Sonny recruited me to come over north to play with the family band. And um, right then and there, I quit my other band. and. We got on the bus, the number five. <laughs> <laughs> number and five, and came yeah. all the way over, the, all the way over north, and that's how I hooked up with these guys was through yeah. Sonny Thompson. Yeah. One of our first big outings was going to see James Brown in yeah. uh, '67 right. Parade Stadium. Uh, Parade Parade Stadium. Stadium. Yeah. Uh, he excited all of us. The ticket price was one dollar. Maceo Parker and James oh, Brown and Boosie right. and all those guys that was the Army, right? tearing it up. Uh, Spike Moss took us down to see Parliament at the um, Mankato State College. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mankato State College. Yeah. And they came out yeah. and uh, they actually just mopped it up. They just <laughs> tore it up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, well. we learned lessons how to come out, how to be you know, powerful all throughout the show and how to end the show. James Brown and, and Parliament, you know, those are some nice lessons to learn. Sliding the Family Stones was yeah. another um, big one that uh, influenced us in the in the early 60s. Right. When we were teenagers and we finally did make it down to the Way Community <laughs> Center, there was other bands there that were older than us. I, I really, you know, was so thankful for the Way and Spike that, you know, 
our first real equipment, you know. Right. I mean, when we we had our, we got uh, the custom amps and the blue, you know. I mean, they was like you know That's real nice. fantastic. <laughs> And I think the first real horn was like that Selma Mark IV that I had. As, as, uh, yeah. that, that came from, you know, That's proceeds right. from the way. That leads to the name The Family, because mm -hmm. your family embraces you. And, Open. And The Way embraced Always. us. The Way embraced me. I was right. like, okay, this, yeah. is, this is my family. Yeah. Yeah. These mm -hmm. are my brothers. I think Spike was a big, big impression upon us in terms of, you know, making sure that, um, you know, we look good you know, that presents yourself. Right. And, uh, and that's something that I think, you know, has, has, has carried us all, the, even to today.